Good day, classmates. My name is Jan Poversosa. And I am Jasmine Renta. And today, we are going to talk about different kinds of personal safety equipment. But first, let us know what is personal safety equipment. Personal safety equipment, or also known as personal protective equipment, are protective clothing, helmets, goggles, or other garments, or equipment designed to protect the wearer's body from injury or infection. These safety devices or equipment are usually worn by the people who work in laboratories. Various types of personal protective equipment serve different purposes, including protecting against physical, chemical, biological, and environmental hazards. Common types of PPE include protective clothing such as coveralls, gowns, and aprons, which shield the body from contaminants or hazardous materials. Headgear, including helmets, hard hats, and bump caps, which safeguard the head from impacts or falling objects. Eyewear, such as safety glasses, goggles, and face shields, which protect the eyes from debris, chemicals, or intense light. Respiratory protection, including masks, respirators, and breathing apparatus, which filter out harmful particles or gases from the air. Hand protection, including gloves and gauntlets, which shield the hands from guts, burns, chemicals, or infectious materials. And lastly, footwear, including safety boots, shoes, and toe guards, which provide traction and protection against punctures, impacts, or electrical hazards. Each type of PPE is designed for specific uses and should be selected based on the nature of the hazards present in the work environment. First, let's talk about different kinds of protective clothing. And now, the first protective clothing that we're going to talk about is chemical-resistant laboratory gown. Chemical resistant laboratory gun protects the wearer's clothing from chemical splashes and spills inside the laboratory. Next protective clothing that we're going to talk about is a leather jacket, also known as a welding jacket. A welding jacket is a specialized garment designed to protect welders from virus hazard encountered during welding operations so that it protects the body of the welders. And the next protective clothing that we're going to talk about is a bodysuit. A bodysuit, also known as coverall or protective suit, is commonly used in virus industries and application for full body protection against hazards such as chemical handling, radiation, hazardous waste cleanup, and pesticides application. After talking about different kinds of protective clothing, now let's move on to the headgear. The first kind of headgear are hard hats. Hard hats, also known as safety helmets, are crucial personal protective equipment used in various industries and workplaces to protect the head from potential hazards. Next are welding helmet and face shields. Welding helmet and face shields are essential personal protective equipment used by welders to protect their eyes, face, and neck from the intense light, heat, sparks, and debris produced during welding process. Next are hairnet. Hairnets are commonly used in various industries and settings to ensure hygiene, safety, and compliance with regulations. And lastly are earmuffs. Earmuffs provide hearing protection in noisy environments such as construction sites or industrial settings. After talking about different kinds of protective equipment for the head or headgear, let's now talk about different kinds of protective equipment that will protect our eyes or eyewear. Number one, the most common eyewear to protect our eyes is goggles. Goggles are protective eyewear designed to shield the eyes from hazards such as impact, chemicals, dust, and splashes. Now, let's talk about the different kinds of respiratory protection. The first Pickle. kind are disposable face masks. These are used to protect the wearer from Pickle. inhaling airborne particles and droplets, commonly worn in medical Pickle. and industrial settings to prevent the spread of germs or to protect against dust Pickle. and other particulates. Next are dust masks, similar to disposable face masks, but specifically designed to filter out dust particles making them suitable for construction work, woodworking, or other activities where dust is present. Next are chemical cartridge respirator. These offers protection against harmful chemical vapors and gases by filtering the air before it's inhaled, commonly used in industrial settings where exposure to hazardous chemicals is a concern. Next protective equipment that we're going to talk about is hand protection or hand protective devices. The first hand protective equipment that we're going to talk about is surgical gloves. 
Surgical gloves are designed to create a barrier between the wearer's hand and bodily fluids, bacteria, and other contaminants during medical procedure or laboratory experiments. And the next hand protective equipment that we're going to talk about is heat-resistant gloves. Heat-resistant gloves protect the wearer's hand from high temperatures, making them suitable for handling hot objects in industrial settings, kitchen, or during welding and metal working. The next protective equipment that we're going to talk about is safety gloves. Safety gloves or general purpose gloves are designed to protect the wearer's hand from cuts, abrasions, punctures, and other hazards in various work environments such as construction, manufacturing, and automotive repair. Next is leather gloves. Leather gloves or also known as welding gloves are specialized protective gear worn by welders to safeguard their hands from the hazards encountered during welding operations. And the last hand protective equipment that we're going to talk about is chemical protective gloves. Chemical protective gloves are used to shield the hands from exposure to hazardous chemicals or substances. And lastly, let us talk about the footwear. Here we have protective rubber boots, safety boots, also known as work boots or steel toe boots. These are specialized footwear designed to protect the feet from various workplace hazards. And that is it for the different kinds of personal protective equipment. I am Jasmine Renta. And I am Jed Versosa. Thank you for listening. Always remember to be safe classmates.